Hi y'all, it's me. Well, it's Saturday afternoon and I'm twiddling, twiddling my thumbs and thought I'd felt like making a video so I decided to share some of the purchases that I've made over the past week or two weeks or whatever. Anyway, it's not a whole lot of stuff, but um, yeah, something to do. I was bored. <laughs> so um, bear with me and I'm going to also show you a rack I got and... Um, well, whatever. So I'm going to start by showing you what I picked up with Carlene, PinkScrappersBoutique.com. She um, sent me my order, and I just got it this morning, so I was so excited. And I know you guys have seen this stuff already, but oh well. I feel like making a video, so just bear with me or go see someone else's if you don't want to watch. <laughs> anyway, I still like you to hang around if you want to. Um Anyway, she sent me these as a gift in my package, so they're really cute little Halloween stamps. So thanks, Carlene, and a little block, which is great. I even like the little packaging. It's cute. So she sent me that, and then I picked up some of the Prima Shabby Chic stuff. I'd already gotten some from her before, but I had to get a little bit more. So I got the columns, the windows, and the shutters. Those are so stinking cute. So anyway, I picked those up from her, and I picked up two paper pads. One is the um, the Lost and Found. I don't know what the name of this one's called. Sunshine, I suppose. I've been wanting it and I hadn't been able to find it, so I'm not going to open it because you guys have all seen, seen the Sunshine collection. And then I got from her the 25 Days of Christmas by Simple Stories. And oh, I love Simple Stories paper. Everything they make so far, I've loved. Um, this one is really great for mini books because it's a lot of elements that you can cut apart to make um, in your mini book and the papers are just the colors are pretty the the papers look at that all those tags you can make it's just so pretty it's a really lovely collection there's more tags see like the whole pad has so many um, cut apart elements that you can you can use look at that isn't that awesome Oh my gosh, she has these, I think, if you want to uh, get them from her. She's got them right now, I believe. So it's an awesome stack. And then I picked up from her a bunch of um, color box chalk inks because I use, I used to use it a lot. And then when Tim Holtz came out with his, I kind of strayed away from them. But then I rediscovered them again, and I really love them. So I went back and um, ordered colors that I wanted to have. And um, so I got um, Lime Pastel. Uh, Ice Jade. I got two of the pink pastel. I use this one a lot. In fact, mine is so dried out the darn foam is peeling apart. Um, this one's called French Blue. And this one is called um, Rose Corral. And I think you can, um, if you, she doesn't have them on her site, but you can order them from her. She can get them for you if you're interested. Olive Pastel. What I like about these is the colors dry really pretty. They're soft and um, really nice. This is yellow um, cadmium. And then uh, the last one I got is charcoal. So thank you so much, Carlene, for my order. I was happy to get it because, boy, I'm needing some of these inks at the minute. <laughs> so anyway, that came from Carlene at PinkScrappersBoutique.com. And then from I don't know where, I ordered a simple story paper kit that I've been looking for for days and months, it feels like. Um, it's called Life Documented, and it, I believe this was one of their first kits, so it's really hard to, to come across. I happened to Google it several times, and finally I hit somebody that had it. Um, it comes with some acetate um, frames, whatever. But I'm not going to show you all the papers in the collection, but it's an awesome, their paper's awesome. If you don't know about Simple Stories, go check them out. But um, these are just a couple of the sheets. Now they give you the, the sticker sheet with the words, so just so you can kind of see the coloring in the kit. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And I actually thought um, this would be great for... Um, incorporating into smash books and stuff or junk journals or whatever so anyway it's an awesome awesome company I look forward to everything that they have coming out they've got a new one that's coming out and I can't wait to get my hands on it it's amazing so I ordered that um, I ordered my first my favorite things um, dies which finally <laughs> I've been like sitting on the burner with them. I don't know I just I'm 
I had so many trouble with my PayPal account and I just didn't want to deal with it. So anyhow, but I did pick up two. I got the fishtail banner, which is this one, and that's what it looks like um, when it's cut. So you can use them individually or layer them all and make one pennant out of it. And then I picked up this one, which I adore. I adore, I adore. I think Arlene showed this, and then I, I was like, I've got to get that. It's Fancy Flourish, and it is so delicate. It is so beautiful, and I don't even think with a Cricut you could really get this cut. It would be too... It would stick to the mat and tear probably. But um, what's nice is that you can cut away portions and use this die in so many ways if you only want that or if you only want, say, that part. You just alter it around just to fit your needs. And, it, oh, I love it. So those came from my favorite things. So that was something new. And let's see, what else? I went to Target and I picked up, um, they had their Halloween paper kits, you know, and I like to pick them up. These mostly because they're cutesy and my grandson, you know, he's still little, so I can use these, although you wouldn't know it if you saw what I'm making him right now. <laughs> anyway, I picked up these. They were a buck. And then I picked up, um, this was a dollar too, which I thought was cute. Oops, sorry. Little bag. I'm going to fill it with little goodies for him. So that's, um, from Target. And then I got from... Big Lots, I went in there for something else, so I just happened to walk by their scrapbooking section, and they had these Halloween stickers, which I couldn't pass because they're just really nice. They're epoxy. They're a buck, and they're from a place called, uh, well, it's Creative Imaginations, but it's Renee's house, and um, really cool looking. So I picked up that one and this one, and they had a couple others, so I just got these two. And then they had this one, which is a baby girl. Uh, and I've been on that baby buying stuff kick, so I picked it up. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so I picked those up. And then from, let's see, my dollar store, um, they had these big bottles of glitter, glitter glue. And um, they're made by that Craftology, which is at Michael's. So um, I figured for the holidays it would be good. They only had orange and green, so I picked the green one for a buck. And then I picked up these fall leaf package. There's all kind of colors in there. And they're really pretty, actually, when you take them out. They're nice, so I picked that up. And then they had these little stickers for Halloween. So, again, I picked them up. I figured for my grandson, they're fine. They're cute. So I picked those up for a buck. This is at the 99-cent only stores, in case anyone's curious. Not from um, It's not from the other one that I go to. It's from the chain store and then they had these two and I figured you know these are kind of big I mean my hands there so you can kind of get an idea they're big but I figured even if I didn't use them for the shape of the cat or whatever I could take them and use all the different rhinestones what the heck so they had the a cat the ghost um, and spider webs which I picked up and they had one other one but I can't remember what it was but I didn't get it so anyway I got those there so that was from the dollar store and then last to share with you was a rack that I got from Friday. Thank you, Friday. I love it. It's, she sent me, well, I already you showed the stamp in my last video, but I'm going to share it again anyway. I had seen it in her video that she she showed this one stamp and a mini that she did, and I, I've been wanting that stamp. I just didn't know where it came from. And she said, oh, I have them at my Joanne, so band it. Stop. It's okay, honey saw someone walking by um so anyway uh she said oh, i'll get you one and it's this one here oh my gosh it came from joanne's and i love this stamp so it was um my joanne's didn't have them so thank you friday i appreciate that so much and then she sent me a couple others too she sent me the the pot which is really nice the cauldron really nice and then she sent me this cute little owl so stinking cute and then she sent me this one it says best of friends and gee thanks which i love because my name is Gina. G thanks. You know what I mean. <laughs> and she sent me this cute little card, the nice little note. And best of all, in this whole package, aside from the stamp that I really wanted, she sent me a ton of her crocheted flowers. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to have flowers forever. <laughs> Thank you so much, Friday. I can't believe you sent me so many. When you mentioned it, I thought you were going to send like one or two. <laughs> she sent me tons. Look at that. There's tons. And they're so pretty. Oh, she does such a nice job with them. Look at that. 
Aren't they pretty? So there's like big ones, small ones, all kinds of them. And you can see it's jam-packed. I mean, I went in there and lined them all up and they're they're just jam-packed. So thank you, Friday, so much. I appreciate it and I love them. Yay! So anyhow, that's about it. As I said, I was kind of bored and thought I'd just throw together a video and say happy Saturday to y'all and hope you're doing what makes you happy. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great day. Bye!